Martino's Meatpacking Company. The manuscript could be somewhere inside, but I'm gonna have to get in to find out for sure. Okay then, I remember this part. I mean, kind of. Again, I remember this place, I don't remember the puzzles. But, I was gonna say, good news, I, um... Why was I about to say I downloaded it? No, I bought a mouse, a new mouse, that I love, it's so cute. Well, it's more cool than cute, it's very cool. And it works! For one thing, <laughs> like the rolling wheel now works and when I click it, it actually does what it's supposed to. But I just found out that I just have to click the rolling wheel to then, and that, like it's a toggle thing. You toggle the run and then whenever you click it just runs. You don't have to hold it. Of course it's like... It's a lot simpler this way, but sure. Should we go in and get shot? Hello there. Hi there. Hello, sir. My name is Chico Carella, and I run this shop for Mama Martino Salami Factory. We got a wide range of salamis for your delectation. We got Salami Milano, Salami Di Folino, Salami Ungarese. Salami Brasaola, yeah, we got so much salami, we got salami coming out our ears. <laughs> Little joke there. Maybe Sir is looking for something uh, extra special. Hmm. How about hmm? a 28 year old vintage salami? That sounds Made disgusting. The way Mama used to make it, huh? Uh, thanks, but no. Spicy foods don't agree with me. You mean. I don't, don't think salami, salami is one of the th those things uh, that you no, age. Not ever. Not really. I better. It's get not on cheese. It. Like never. Or wine. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's meat. I'm crazy about salami. I died for salami. Doesn't it I love salami. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's a, yeah, a way too. to cure it guy. to age it. Hey. I don't no, know, I but. Know you. You on TV? Nah, I just oh, have one I of those faces. One of those <laughs> I knew it. I, never a I knew know. it. I should uh, be a writer for me, these huh? games. <laughs> Funny guy. Um, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess this is not a place I'm not supposed to be in yet. This is quite literally a shop, so. Uh, you know, I'm just here to buy salami, as far as this guy knows. Although, coming here and saying, no, I don't eat salami, that's weird. Like, why are you here if all we do is salami? Anyway, Chico, which, by the way, I don't know why it would be called Chico. Uh, that's Spanish, not Italian. But, so a little bit you about here? you. As long as I can remember. This place has been in the family for a long time. Oh, so your relatives own it? <laughs> no, no, no. The family. The family. Oh, I see, of course, the family. This guy's crazy. What's he talking about? Come on, it's pretty easy to understand what family is talking about. So, why are you working here in the salami shop? Well, first and foremost, I love salami. And second and second most. <laughs> if I wasn't here, how could I demonstrate my love of salami <laughs> to so many people? Fair enough. Now, there's a sentiment you normally hear more often after dark down by the docks. How often have you been in that situation? You look like a guy who's lived a little. Why not take a holiday? See the world. Retire. Mister, you don't retire from Mama Martino's. Mama Martino's retires you. Hmm. Now, somehow, I don't think that means that he, that Mama Martino's 
gives you a pension and you can go on vacation and stuff like that. I don't know why, I get that vibe, it's just a hunch. You have a very wide selection of salamis. That's because Mama Martino, she make a lot of different salami. This one here is made out of boar. Was the boar wild? Well, he wasn't too keen on the idea. <laughs> <laughs> He's got jokes. <laughs> I love that last. Gag, but always <laughs> a good one, huh? Um, no. We love a woman in business in high places, a CEO, entrepreneur. So, what you know, I can't Martino be mad at so Mama Martino. The finest and the freshest ingredients. And, of course, the secret recipe. So, what salami would you recommend for me? I know it the minute you walked in the door, sir. The Martino Vintage. The Me Plus Ultra of the salami world. Nice Latin, I'm impressed. You see, the Martino Vintage utilizes only the tenderest meat. Hung and bled for three whole days whilst being constantly beaten. Oh, really? Uh, what do you beat it with? Baseball bats. Anyway, when the meat's ready, Baseball. the boss himself grinds it up. For one batch, we can make 50 salamis. Each one goes to a different store as a one-off special. This I... is my only 28-year vintage, and it's going cheap. Wow. To think that salami's been around for 28 years. Ah, are you crazy? <laughs> 28's the age of the meat when it goes into the salami. Yeah, I'm oh, not a fan I of see. where this is going. Did he say, was I just not paying attention? Did he say what this 20 year, 28 year salami... Okay, also it makes more sense that 20 year is just when the meat, like the age of the meat, you know, it makes more sense that you're not aging the salami because, again, it's meat. Doesn't it rot? But also, did it say what kind of meat it was? Because I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Especially if it was 28 years old. Did they have to retire somebody to make that salami is all I'm saying? Do you like golf? Nah, I could never handle the clubs. Every swing, smack, run to the ground. Nothing beats a baseball bat. Really? Well, it, it's never too late to learn. Let me present the Stobart Patented Extendable Golf Club. Oh, extendable. It could be useful. Why would Course, you... if you're talking portable, it's gotta be the knife every time. Knife? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, my mistake. That's a nice club. Very nice. George, you didn't just give him the golf club, did you? Okay, no, you have it. Cool. Because <laughs> you don't give a gangster, a mafioso gangster, a golf club. You're basically asking them to use it on you. Uh, but... Okay, so... Also, the thing about... No, we beat the meat with baseball clubs, which is weird at first, until you think of the implication. Again, is that how they retire people? <laughs> anyway, let's see what's in here. Can we see what's in here with him staring at us through the window? Without a full protective suit, I won't be touching those cans. Fair enough. Let's keep going. Um, what's in there? It's gonna be closed, of course, but still. Locked. Very wise. You never know who's after your salami these days. Mm hmm. Okay, so why are you not running? I don't get how this toggle works. Hello, you. Oh, 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 oh. No, I'm not trying hey, to go you. in. Where'd you think you're going? No, don't worry. I was. Oh, I wanted to uh, talk I'm to you. Guy. Where's your apron? I forgot it. Uh, don't worry. I'll get another inside. Oh no, you won't. No apron. No entry. 
Well, that sounds a little unreasonable. Them's the rules. No getting in without an apron. Okay, I wanted to talk to you, though. Hi there, I'm George. What do I care? You ain't nothing to me. Charming. Yeah, well, I ain't here for the small talk. What do you want? So where is the famous Mama Martino? When do I get to meet her? Are you crazy? Mama's been gone these past 50 years. Oh, okay. God rest her soul. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. So who runs this place now? The boss, Fingers Martino. Didn't they tell you in the interview? Well, I was just too excited at the time. That explains a lot. Yeah, uh, see? <laughs> I feel like that explains that I'm not actually, you know, employed, if that's what you want to call it. Listen, I've got five kids to feed back at the ranch. Oh, for fuck's sake, George. Little Timmy's wasting away. I need this money. And you listen, buddy. No apron, no work, no pay. Simple. But you're not wearing one. Do you see me carrying a carcass? No. Do you see me rolling a salami? Well, no. And go figure. You ain't working until you have that apron. Ah, well. Now you put it like that. Let's not insist on, on the You know Chico in the trade shop? What's he like? Time we let the old goat go. His memory shot to pieces. Don't say that to him, though. He's got a temper on him bigger than the bulls. Okay, I but feel like so we harmless. have to tell him then. Yeah, that's what the last helper said. Then he asked Chico to share a cigarette and BAM! BAM? BAM! A month later, we got a can of dog food returned with the guy's tie in it. Yikes! <laughs> Only joking, kid. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Great gag. Was he also in the 28 age to like salami, 28 years old? Hey, buddy. Where'd you think you're going? Um, I was just gonna check the temperature in the truck. I told you, you need an apron if you're gonna be working here. But it's at home. All I want to do is earn some money for my poor starving family. <laughs> I love that he keeps going. And you better hurry home and get it, hadn't you? You're a cruel, heartless man. You know that? Yeah, that's kind of his job. So, there is an apron behind there. No, 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 don't go. He will shoot you right on the spot, I'm sure. White butcher's apron with a Martino logo on the front. It's filthy and hardly hygienic. Let's talk to him. Hey, Chico. I was wondering if you could help me. Sure. As long as it ain't some kind of hit. <laughs> Only kidding now. Hmm. Okay, so... How do I distract him? Hey! What'd you think you're doing? Oh, uh, I thought you might have hidden some more special salamis around here. Well, I haven't. You understand? Sure, whatever you say. Good. I'd hate to have to get serious with you, pal. Huh, so do I have to make him angry? Hey, Chico. I was wondering... I don't like the idea, me. but... Okay, now there's the option. So, why aren't you wearing your apron? Hygiene. Well, surely the rules say you have to wear an apron. Well, not, not that. one as dirty as this. Yeah. I need to get it cleaned, but for now, it can stay where it is. Could I possibly have your apron? What? Are you mad? I can't let you have my apron. That's more than my job's worth. I'd be hung, drawn, and quartered for giving that away. Well, so that's a no. Then. Just for an apron. Apron must remain with me at all times. Sorry, my friend. Huh. So, how do I distract him? Without a full protective suit, I won't be touching those cans. 
No, I mean, again, fair, but I kind of, like, what do I do? That's not the right approach. Oh, cigarettes? You want cigarettes? Wait, you want to go on a smoke break? Oh, for fuck's sake, why are you so slow? I don't suppose you know what make of cigarette this is. I sure do. Those are heavenly breeze, the finest Italian cigarettes you can buy. Interesting branding. My favorite. Very hard to get in this country, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess that. One drag from one of those babies, and you feel like you're up there with the angels. Ah, oh, yes, sir. What do you want for the pack? Capron. Yeah, okay, how about this whole pack of cigarettes for your apron? Oh, I can't do that. If I got caught without an apron, it'd be a chop for me. Well, then the salon, right. I guess. If I give you this pack of cigarettes, you have to give me... The vintage salami. Vintage for some cigarettes? Yeah. It's an interesting offer. And it's a done deal. There you go. One Martino's classic vintage salami. Thank you. And here's your pack of Italian cigarettes. I bet you're just itching for one of those death sticks right now, huh? You better believe me. But if I leave here and get found out, there'll be hell to pay. I'll have to wait until no one's around. Nice doing business with you. Chico's got what he wants. Now all I have to do is hide, watch, and wait. Okay, hide. Hide. Hide where? Where do I hide? Should I hide there? Locked. Very wise. You never know who's after your salami these days. Uh, or maybe okay let's see I mean maybe because they do still hmm but also maybe not <laughs> what about oh -ho -ho. <gasps> well I wasn't even hiding yet but okay let's go then quick Quick, quick, before he comes in and kills you. Wearing the apron, I'd be able to move freely about the building. And there's no time like the present. There we go. Let's go. We have the apron. Ah, you found your apron then. Yep. My family will not be starving today. So, what exactly am I doing here? Oh, the manuscript, right. Okay. I mean, while I'm pressing shift to run, at this point I could... I'd, I'd, I'd rather just use rust to move. It makes more sense at this point. I don't know if I like it. But, eh. Can I put that in my pocket? A full XT? Of course. Of course. Oh, fireproof blanket. It's not an extin uh, fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher, yeah? Ex yeah. Why did it sound so weird? Is it coming from somewhere? But where? Why well, it's just music? Why is it? Oh, okay. I know what I need to do. Push it. Push it real good. Come on, do it again. What's happening? Why did it freeze? Hello? 
вот. Hello. Well, that's weird. Good thing I just saved.